learned that uh, learners had a um, negative attitude toward mathematics. So we had to, uh, we had to interview different stakeholders and then come up with solutions. So we came up with this idea of the visual aids in numbers. In the first phase, this is a rectangle, rectangle. And this bottom phase, it is uh, a square. And this one is a triangle, and this one also is a triangle. I look at the performance in terms of attitude, desire to try and solve some mathematical problems, something which was lacking in the past, but it is now there. And this one is more evident in Form 1 and in Form 2 where the idea has been embraced. The models have really, really improved my grade, especially in maths. I was even interested to learn math models more. They have helped me to improve when in my study. This is the perpendicular distance, eh? Then you measure this on your ruler. The idea of visual aids in numbers and the feedback that I got from the students and my fellow teachers, I was able with my team to refine it better since we had started with uh, making the models using the Manila, Manila sheets, but then we refined them using the materials which are long lasting for them to be used for uh, many years. If you have any questions, it's better you ask because in the exam you'll be alone. The main idea behind peer teaching is because the learners have different abilities in terms of understanding. These learners who are able to understand a concept very fast and are able to communicate the same information to the other learners, we are using them. Touch form, you will just put it here, touch it, but then you add. I feel good about being a peer teacher because being chosen, it means that there's something this child I've seen you are doing that is what I've chosen. So they, I feel like being encouraged to put more effort. They can also motivate each other and they have a language of communication which is learner to learner language, which they can easily understand on their own. Let us calculate the area of this rectangle here, the second one, because we had said that there are three. You will be able to uh, interact with learners and they will, you, will, you will share ideas and then you, you will understand more. If we find difficult uh, questions, we just consult the teachers. The HC process is different from the other community projects because it, it involves different stakeholders. You start with the learners whom we have in classes, in schools. We also collaborate with the teachers and also the parents. So it is different since it is a stakeholder-centered approach.